Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had some shenanigans happen in Heliord here, where we're currently sitting, but right now, well, we still got him to worry about. Let's just stop and rest here for the day. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um... We had shenanigans happen where the Blastia for this area had exploded, or more or less was going to very violently explode, but uh, Rita and uh, Estelle kind of stopped it from being super massive. Uh, Rita doing the bulk of the work and then Estelle trying to keep Rita alive at this point, I guess. So, going to go and sleep i guess um i just don't know where my room is supposed to be at all really so apparently my room has been paid for by the knights but i have not been told where it is is it here all that ridiculous, diff ridiculously difficult training was just our captain tormenting his underlings. Yeesh. I can tell you firsthand that our regular training wasn't going to be good for anything. Yeesh. Well, I am sorry you had to go through that. This is the... I have no idea. I have no idea. All, all he said is that the room was paid for by the knights, but I don't know which room that is, or, oh, it was this one. Come in. Rita's awake. Good. Glad to see you're awake. Yeah. Estelle's not. And after I told her over and over to call me before she collapses. Hmm. You didn't think she'd really listen to you, did you? Nah, I didn't. <sighs> she looks happy. Hey, so, what do you think Estelise thinks of me? Interesting question. Why are you making that face? <laughs> because that was quite a question. Um... No idea. That's... That's not the question I would have expected. Considering, you know, she sat here at your bedside, making sure you were alright for hours. I would think she thinks fairly highly of you. But that's just me. I just didn't think you were the kind of person who cared what other people thought. Yeah, that was the main thing I was kind of surprised by. Forget it. You can go now. Come on! You show a little bit of emotion, we make a wise crack, and then... Okay, I mean, that, that's fair. A little bit of emotion, wise crack, and then immediate shutdown. Yeah, that makes sense. Compared to those formulas of yours, she should be easy to figure out. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Huh? Huh? Rita! You're awake! And she returns to the realm of the living. But be careful. It's just when you think you've recovered that you're in the most danger. Okay. It's alright. I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> She's fine. Stella, also, come on. Also, you don't need to pretend to be using that Blastia anymore. I... What do you mean? It's pretty cool that you can use healing arts without a blastia. But, but how did you... Oh. Oh. Well, that turns a lot of things on its head. Hmm. 
What the? What is this guy doing hey, here? It's that dragon freak. Well, Rita, are you all right? Don't you ever learn? It sounds like no. the sky is falling in here. What's going on? Huh? Ah! Well, I'm glad you could join us, what Carol. What was that thing? Same guy we've seen at least like 19 times now. Just when the conversation was getting interesting. Was it now? That's enough talk about Estelle's healing arts for now. Fine yeah, me. We'll leave it alone. I pretty much figured it out anyway. <sighs> Why am I not surprised she's already figured it out? Don't look at me like that. Do I really look like that much of a bad guy to you? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. <laughs> Hey, wait! What's going on, you guys? Come on, tell me! Hey. <laughs> we'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> that was a bit much. Well, take care on the way back to the capital. Okay. Good. Oh, so she's... Do you have everything? Wouldn't want to have to come back later. Okay. If I forget anything, you'll bring it to me. Won't you, Yuri? Damn. Got him pegged. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's go find Flynn. I'll take you that far. Uh, um, what are you all gonna do after this? Hmm. Wow. Well, we did lose track of the Blood Alliance. Yeah. And to be fair, there is the fact that you still needed to look for that Aqua Blastia. And. Yeah, I wonder what else you really would need to do at this point. That's easy! We can just go to Dongrest! Or not. Mm -hmm. Man, if I go back there now, they'll all just laugh at me. Okay. Dongrest? That's the Guild City, right? Ah, uh, that would explain why everyone would laugh at him. Yeah, I thought we could find out about the Blood Alliance there. He still could do that. What direction is it from here? Well, it's to the west, I guess, but... Let's check it out then. Might be helpful for anybody thinking you're starting a guild, too. Hmm. Considering Yuri was mulling that over. Okay. Huh? For starting a guild? Well, let's go then! <laughs> yes, Rita. Alrighty, reunite with Carol, Rita, and Rapide. Okay. Okay. Guess we head out. Have to hand over Estelle to Flynn. Do I have to? <laughs> Do I have to, really? Ugh. Okay. Hmm? It doesn't seem like that Flynn character is around here. I wonder why. Does that mean you're staying with us for now? Well, I... Would that be alright? Carol, don't fill the princess's head with ideas. <laughs> you cannot simply do as you wish. Your Highness must return to the capital. Knew someone was gonna step in. Flynn has already set out to tend to other business. Ah, makes sense. Now then, Rita Mordio, we would like you to investigate yesterday's Blastia malfunction. That's pointless. I looked at him this morning, but I couldn't figure anything out. No, we would ask that you go to the Forest of Cave Mock. Interesting. Cave Mock, huh? Oh yeah, the plants affected by the disaster here look just like the ones in that forest. Ah... I do remember the plants looking fairly weird. We have reports of tree mutations and of monsters increasing in both number and aggressiveness. Mm-hmm. 
Messengers have gone to the capital, but much time will be wasted finding a gifted mage. Especially when you already have one right here. I specialize in Blastia. Plants are out of my league. Well, that's probably true, but the Blastia is probably the cause. You could probably figure it out. Consider that connection to the air. I imagine that is within your league. Yeah, not entirely wrong. Besides, I... If Estelle is going back to the capital, I want to go with her. Oh? What do you mean? Yeah, good question. What do you mean? You are a researcher in an Imperial Blastia laboratory. You must undertake the tasks assigned to you. Well, that's a little rude. Also, I noticed the music in the background is very softly the goofy putz music <laughs> for Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Um, then there should be no problem if I accompany her to the forest, right? Princess, please do not make suggestions that are simply out of the question. If this does have something to do with air, then my healing arts would prove useful. Mm -hmm. Yes, they would. Yeah, they would. Please, Alexei. Let me do my part to help. You can really tell that she's royalty because she's just on a first name basis with the commandant your highness i simply cannot allow you to go to such a dangerous forest alone well what if yuri would you come with us <sighs> i knew you'd get dragged in it yeah sure yeah. if yuri were to come you wouldn't be worried right young man please escort the princess Knew it. I Knew ask it. this of you only because you once sought to join the Imperial Knights. Well, that might be true. But, uh... Yeah, no, that's, that's a fair point. Of all the underhanded... I didn't ask anybody to count on me. You're pushing me into this. It seems I can take that reply as indication of your agreement. Did it sound like agreement? But there's something I have to do as well. We go to the forest after Dungrist. Very well. Okay. Your Excellency. Chroma. That's the first time we've actually heard her talk. It seems Flynn foresaw this outcome. Oh. Huh? He did what? He left this message for you. Take care of Her Highness. That son of a bitch. All right, then. It's the forest of Cave Mock by way of John Grest. Thank you for the summary, Carol. I have a job for you. The job for who? Ooh. Who is that? Who are they? Well, Estelle joined the party again. That's good. What do you think that scary monster we saw in Kerr Bakram was? That beast was way tougher than anything I've ever seen before. If it didn't run away when it did, we'd have been in a world of hurt. That's a surprisingly mm -hmm. cautious opinion coming from you. Not that I disagree when it comes to a monster like that. Yeah. Do you think it was the hunting blades who trapped it in a reverse barrier? Yeah, probably. It looked like they came to take that monster down. And whatever the case, I don't want to meet up with a monster like that again. Well, we might not have a choice in the matter. But that said, I'm not sure if your assumption is correct that the hunting blades put it in a reverse barrier. You might have another person to thank for that. Who it is, I couldn't tell you, but I think something else was going on there. Oh, it's a beach. Cool. And there's a bridge there. Ow. Sorry if I hurt you. Are you, though? Are you really? 
Yeah, I beat you Perfect. into next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. One would think she would learn. One would think. I'm glad that Commandant Alexei turned out to be so reasonable. Yeah, I Kinda. thought he'd be more of a stubborn jerk myself. Uh, had you met him before, Yuri? I knew him, but I doubt he knew me. I was barely in the nights for any time at all, really. What sort of person is he, I wonder? He can be very formal at times, but in a way, he's something of a symbol for the Knights. Many who are in the Knights now were inspired to join by Alexei's example. <laughs> One thing's clear. I don't have much in common with him. Okay, come on. And yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. There's no way around it. There we go. Delight. <laughs> I got a little worked up. Yeah, a little. Grade. Fatal Strike Chained Bonus. Did I do it? Fatal Strike? I don't remember that. Oh well. Also, I only just realized <laughs> I completely have forgotten to deal with the fact that Rapide is in the party. When technically I didn't want him there in the whole setup. Okay, Estelle's... Did I... Okay. Hmm. I'd rather do the kite shield first and then do the round shield after. Um, I did get the royal guard already. Good. Um, okay. I think that covers everything I needed to do. I think. At least equipment wise. But I want to go back and make sure. I don't trust that I did it correctly. At least in a way that makes it work. Alright. So we will go right back into the building and check the equipment. Uh, what am I looking for? Well, making sure that I got everything I needed. Uh... Ow! Didn't realize it'd be an upgrade for Rita. Oh, yeah, the splint mail. I forgot that was going to be for Carol. Alright, we'll get rid of that. Um... Oops, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go to equip. Okay. Um, purple ribbon. Okay, this was upping in physical defense. That was why. It was an upgrade, per se. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to prioritize magical defense over physical defense. I guess I'll hold on to it for a little while. Okay, the tunic... Did I ever... I keep doing that unintentionally. Oh, I'm annoyed at myself. Okay, uh... Yeah, the magic tunic was new. Um, fine boots, no. Um... I did get Endless Hartford, didn't I? I did. Okay, cool. Um, needed to get splint mail. There we go. Um, hmm. Need to get 
that metal armor form. But I think... I still have not found a new sub-weapon for Yuri. And it's a little annoying that it's taking this long to get one. Ah, <sighs> Grimoire page. <sighs> I really want to get that. Iron circlet, no. Um, purple ribbon. Um, steel protector. Just need a rope tentacle? I'm not sure what that is. Um, hmm. I can make a surugi. Interesting. Um, just looking through. Kotaro plus one. Hmm. Okay, I'll get that. And then sell some of the older stuff. I don't know if the sub weapons can be upgraded. I don't. I don't actually think they can. So I'm just going to sell that. Uh, sell that for sure. That was weird. buying and what I can get that I haven't already got. Um, no, I think I'm I think I'm set. I think I'm now set to head out. Good. About time. Enough inventory management. Let's go. Estelle, there's something I want to ask you. Yes, what is it? Wait! What's the matter? Could you repeat what you just said? I said, there's something I want to ask you. No, before that. Estelle? Yes, you finally called me Estelle. Oh, I've got to go tell everyone. Stop it. Oh, well. <laughs> you. You're. Girl, you have some weird priorities. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right. So we go around again. Nope, nope. Oh. Didn't know I could bring the mini map to be big. Or just get rid of it entirely. Interesting. Ba -ba -doo. Bye. What the what? Okay. Don't know what that's about. Alright. This would be the new town. Assuming the town I needed to go to. This is Dongrest, my hometown. Oh, it's your hometown. Didn't know that. The Den of Guilds. Dongrest. Looks like a pretty lively place. We haven't run into a single person. What are you talking about? Well, it's the second largest city after the Imperial Capital. It's run entirely by the guilds. Interesting. I thought it'd be more dark and dank, you know? Like a den of villains. Why? That's just a prejudice people have about the guilds. Well, I guess that makes sense. I'm sure the bad reputation of the Blood Alliance is to blame for that. Yep. Yeah. Jeez, Yuri, you make it sound like I'm a villain. If you're a villain, what does that make him? Fair point. Point taken. <laughs> so, how should we go about tracking down Barbos? The mm. best way is probably to stop by the Union and check there. The Union. A guild collective run by the five so-called Master Guilds, right? Yeah, I don't know about the, so the union also part. serves as the city's government. But how is this going to work? 
Isn't Barbos's Blood Alliance one of the five master guilds? I guess so, yeah. Which means if we lay a hand on him, we'll be picking a fight with the Union as well. Yeah, probably. We won't know the answer to that until we ask the Dawn. The Dawn. What are we, in the Mafia now? The Dawn is the boss of the Union, isn't he? Yep. Dawn Whitehorse, leader of Altosk, the most powerful of the five master guilds. Altosk. All right, let's go see what the Dawn has to say then. You know the way, right, Carol? Hey, wait. He's not the kind of person you can just meet. I don't really know if... We'll have to figure out something. Please? <laughs> Union headquarters is in the north part of town. Wow, just a single please from Estelle is enough to break his will. <laughs> Kinda not surprised. That is a shop. Okay, cool. Well, let's see what's in the shop. Maybe I can finally find a sub-weapon for Yuri. Welcome. This is store number one of Fortune's Market Headquarters. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see what you got here. A whole lot of bottles. A liquid that cures all magical ailments during battle. Interesting. Okay. Well, no sub-weapons, but a whole lot of other things. Iron hammer. Compact sword. But that is also a massive downgrade. But it might be something I can upgrade. Especially since I sold it a long time ago. So I might as well pick one up. s stock. Wow. A solid sword designed to pierce through not the armor joints, but the armor itself. Technically not true. Also known as an armor piercer. That part's true. The epée, the battle sword. A versatile and useful military sword. The broad blade adds weight and durability. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see what else we got. Oh, that's it? That's all in the weapons department? S stock and then the battle sword, huh? I wonder if I can make those. I can upgrade the Surugi. I just need a tortoise shell for that. Hmm. Interesting. Don't need a Gladius plus one. Um chain whip a metal whip used as a weapon the weight at the tip increases its attack power well i mean that makes sense that's all physical attack at that point doesn't really help with rita's magic in the slightest i'm sure let me check that yeah 152 and what is she wait a very So I can now make a weapon that none of my people are able to carry. The Variable Edge. A bow that can change into a short sword. Not how that works, but okay. Very few are skilled enough to handle this weapon. I'm trying to... Re I was trying to remember who used a bow... In the beginning little cinematic for the game. And I guess Raven will eventually be joining the party somewhere in here. Because he's the only one I remember having used a bow. Okay. Well, that'll be something I deal with later. Oh, I can make them here too. Cool. That's a little nice. A little nicer. Um, the safety helm. A helmet with the message that says safety first. A journey is exactly that. A valuable wisdom. And it's only for 
Carol. Okay. Cat hairband. A cute headband with a motif of a cat. Meow. And that's for Rita. Okay. The holy circlet. Infused with magic, it is more powerful than it actually looks. Well, clearly. Okay. Hard mail, ring mail, lemelar split. Breastplate. I just got done upgrading from splint mail. And now you tell me there's breastplate that I can make. And a battle guard for Estelle. But nothing further for Rita. Interesting. The rain cape. Which is actually stronger? Huh. Commonly sold raincoat for dogs. It is strengthened for combat. Well, that does make it easier to want to go that route. Especially since I can just make it. No problems. Cape. Leather cape. Thief's cape. Cape of choice for thieves slightly raises agility. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, there's not much else I can do. At least making wise. Um, I guess I'll buy the battle sword for that void attack thing. Then the S stock. Then the iron hammer for. <sighs> Hmm. Oh, I can buy it. Okay. It's a little easier. So I don't have to worry about it. Witch dress. One who wears it is often mistaken for a witch. It was designed to not interfere with magic. Well, I'm going to be spending a lot of money <laughs> at this rate. Cucumber. Okay. Tomato. Okay. I'm going to be spending way too much money on everything here. Okay. And I think that covers everything I needed. Oh, boy. Actually, first, let's equip... Oh, I haven't finished with the Ogre Axe yet. I'll deal with that later. Equip this new armor here. Oh, it raised his physical and magical defense. Something, something fierce. Okay, well that's good. Um, Holy Raven, has he gotten done with that? Technically? And then the Kotaro does physical attack, but not agility. Okay. But then he also learns all of that, so that's good. Okay. Hmm. Let's go with Endless Heart first, and then transition to Leather Whip. Because the Leather Whip also raises her HP, and that's nice. Okay, the Epe has already been fully learned. Um, let's go with the Estoc. There we go. Okay, I think that covers all the important stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that covers everything important. So let's just sell what I'm not going to take. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the helmet thing. Okay. Um, there we go. So let's... Oops. There we go. We'll circle it. Good. And we'll sell one. There we go. 
All right, well, that recovers at least half of the money I just spent. Okay, thank you very much. Please come back anytime. Not like I'm going to have a choice. I'm going to join Fortune's Market when I grow up. Fart <laughs> Fortune's Market. Mouth just does not want to cooperate today. Okay. Moving on. I wonder where we're supposed to be going. No idea. Oh, that's the inn. Alright. Well, that's a big building. Cooking Stadium. Bistro Black Hole. A cooking stadium. Is that a cat? Is that a dancing cat? That's a cow. Hey, I'm not an ingredient, so don't try anything funny. It is a kid in a cow costume. I'm training to become a master chef. It's mostly been eating so far, though. Okay, kiddo. Ah, uh, okay. Guild Gourmet. Bonjour. Welcome to the Guild Gourmet Banquet. Why, why is it whenever it's cooking, it's always French? Our fine selection is so popular that everything is sold out. Pardon. Well... Ain't that just peachy. Well. My interest has waned. Time to get out of here. Cooking Stadium. Alrighty. Okay. So, I guess this is center of town. doing what uh n nothing hmm well well if it ain't little carol ah that's what he's doing what the hell are you thinking coming back here hey what's with you yeah that's a good question yeah i don't see nan she already did you <laughs> come on no come way. on she wouldn't stop nagging so i took off really carol that's the tack do you want to be taken? All right. This would explain why Carol wasn't too eager to go to Dongrist. Yeah, would explain it. So are you the latest guild to take him in? You could do a lot better than that, loser. All this kid can brag about is the number of guilds he's joined. Oh, right. That's a bad thing. Okay. Are these your friends, Carol? You can do a lot better than these losers. I <laughs> turned it back on them. What did you say? You heard me. Such undignified men. Mm -hmm. Shut up. <laughs> you gonna tell that to a princess, huh? You sure have a way of saying things. I mean, you're right, but... <laughs> Rita, you're not supposed to agree with them. Yeah, you just keep talking. What's that sound? Oh. Damn that it. That didn't sound good. They're back again. They? Come on! The alarm! Monsters are here! Monsters? Oh, wait, is this shaking the monsters' footsteps? If so, they've brought quite an army. Apparently. Yeah, but don't worry. Even if there have been a lot of monsters around here lately, our barrier here is strong, and it's never been broken before. You just raised the biggest death flag you could have possibly raised, Carol. And the guilds take care of the monsters outside the barrier. 
Uh huh. Huh? Oh crap! The barrier disappeared. What did I just say? What the hell is going on? The monsters are gonna get inside. Damn it! Why do things like this always happen to me? No matter where I go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. You gotta be cursed. Clearly. Maybe. Yuri, we have to go stop the monsters. Or at least help, yeah. Welp. Time to head. Oh. Dust is already getting kicked up. Something fierce. Oh. This is crazy. Where are all these monsters coming from? It's a good question. Something isn't right. You're right. Doesn't something seem different about the monsters as well? Here they come. Uh oh. I won't lose. Well, you say that. Here we go. Ow. Here comes a new smell. Right. Who's next? There we go. Ow. I am liking the fact that I'm now taking this very little damage. Don't let up. There's more coming. Why are there so many? It's hard to say. I don't think that we'll get an answer until it's all over. Damn it! It's just one right after the other. Makes this sense. Looks easy. Let me at them. Drag it over. Destruction. Uh, Ow. Power that Ow. 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 Okay, these ones are a little stronger than the last ones. Ow! You will kill. Summer is strike. A flickering blaze pattern. Damn, there's no end to these things. There will eventually be an end. It's just taking a while, obviously. Got a decent amount of stuff ah! off of that. Damn. Uh -oh. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Forget it. Run. Damn, I'm not gonna make it. Oh. Come on, you filthy maggots! I'll take the lot of you. Come see how it feels to get beat down by an old man. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. That old guy is really going after him. Who the hell is he? It's the Don. That's Don Whitehorse. Well, interesting. Don so comes in. Huh? It's the Don. The Don's here. Let's kick this monster scum out of here! Defend the city! Alright, well... Nobody messes with the clouds of dawn! Alright, well... Everyone's running Flynn. now. Wait, Flynn We've was come here? to help subdue the monsters! Hold Hello, your Flynn. horses, night boy! Night we couldn't boy. live with ourselves if we let the knights do our dirty work. Now get the hell out of here! <laughs> wow, just told the fuck off, really. Damn. Is this really the time for that? Each and every one of these people left the empire of their own free will and joined a guild. <laughs> there ain't a soul in this town so spineless they go running to you guys for help. That's fair. But that is These are the rules of the fair. life we've chosen. It's up to us to make sure those rules don't get broken. Holding to your beliefs no matter what's at stake. So that's what a real guild is like. Apparently. Hey, you there. Lead the way. I have a name, you know. Where are we going, anyway? We're going to repair the barrier, Blastia. If we don't, the city will be overrun with monsters. That's... That's understandable. And You're coming, too. I knew she was going to drag me into it. Guess that's my only option. Yep. The barrier failed right as the monsters appeared? What the hell is going on in this city? I've lived in Dongress my whole life, but I've never seen anything like this. So why the hell do we have such terrible timing? How should I know? What? You don't really think I'm cursed, do you? I mean, all evidence is pointing towards it, so I mean... It's definitely not helping. Okay, where the hell would the blast yet be? 
At this point, I'm just going in a random direction, hoping that's correct. Well... We're too late. This is so horrible. Out of the way! Well, Rita's going to deal with this. Hmm. I might be able to do something with this. Rita, watch out! Behind you! We won't let these you fix the barrier! These putts is... Again? What the hell? It's just one thing after another. I'm sick of this. Same. Guess we can do this. Yeah, not like we have a choice. Well, we should have everyone with me this time. They're destroying a barrier, but that's we have to repair the blast to you quickly. Okay, uh, apparently it's supposed to be impossible, but I guess it's not. Red lens, mystic cloth, and magic lens. Huh. Looks like we have those guys to thank for the barrier blast you failing on us. Sounds about right. But why? These are the same guys that attacked you a while Looks back. like you've got your hands full over here. Yeah, well... So the Don's little lecture didn't stick? Clearly not. I'm just doing what I can to help. How's the repair of the barrier blast you going? That'll depend on our genius mage here. Mm, the core is still there. They just fiddled with your formula a bit and stopped it, didn't they? What the... This is... an amplifier? And this formula again. The same as they were using back on Amid Hill. The barrier disappeared when the monsters attacked. It can't be a coincidence that they happened at the same time, can it? Probably not. No. So does your appearance here mean this is tied up with all the Empire's problems? I don't know. That's why I came here to check things out. That goes there, and this goes here. Oh, we got it working. Rita. All right, time to clean up the monsters outside the barrier. The guilds won't be able to complain if we fight monsters outside the city. I mean, they might a little, but... We'll leave the monsters to Flynn. Let's go to the Union and ask about Barbos. Alrighty. You really trust Flynn, don't you? No. Well, only because there's no one else I can trust. That's how I look at it. Well, I mean, there might be a couple. Yuri, I don't get you sometimes. That's probably for the best. Dongress has a very different atmosphere from the capital, doesn't it? The city seems so energetic. Everyone here is so full of life. Of course! It's the largest guild city. Everyone lives according to their own principles. Do you like Dongress, Estelle? Yes, I think it's lovely. What about you, Yuri? Hmm? I think it'd be a really great city if the barrier wasn't crapping out. Yuri, will you please let that go? I'm kidding. <laughs> this city's not bad at all. It even feels kind of like the lower quarter. Well, I mean, that's high praise considering he preferred to live in the lower quarter. Alright, well, it's time to find a safe spot and end the episode properly. The inn is probably the best spot to look for that. Hey, how about that? I was correct. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here for right now and then save right after. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments and bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and... Well, kind of working my way through, uh, again, a couple of uh, anime contrivances. Uh, the Death Flag definitely gave the immediate foreshadowing that things were going to go wrong. But uh, other than that, um, it seems that there's a much deeper story here that I'm not exactly putting together. Um, at least not in my head. Especially the fact that apparently the Blastia for... 
Estelle is actually not necessary for her, for her healing arts. That's an interesting new fact that I'm not sure how to piece together because it seems the Blasty is what allows people to do these crazy cool things. So why is Estelle not necessarily going to have to use it to do her healing arts? I'm at a loss and I kind of want to see where that goes. But that's a thread that we'll have to follow later for you.